Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today I'm sharing three more affordable ways to create modern calligraphy. For the first one, all you need is a basic ballpoint pen or some gel pens. Just your standard pen will be fine and some regular computer paper. The first step is to write out your letters. You can do it fancy or just do your regular handwriting. And then to add the main feature of modern calligraphy, we're gonna thicken our downstroke. So any stroke where your pen was going towards the bottom of your paper, you want to make that thicker by just drawing a line around it. So you can do it on either side. I determine what side based on the spacing and the size of my letter, whatever makes it look better as a whole. So if I need to fill in a gap, I'll fill in a gap. Or if I need to make a letter bigger, I'll make a letter bigger. Then you just color those spaces in. But I also wanted to show you in another example here where I'm using my ballpoint pen that you don't necessarily have to fill it all the way in. You can color it in with a pattern like stripes or polka dots or stars or any pattern that you create. You could shade it in or you could even leave it empty. So have fun and be creative. The next one is going to be brush lettering with Crayola markers. So you'll just need some Crayola markers or any marker with a tip similar to this, as well as again, some basic computer paper. Usually when I show you guys brush lettering, I'm gonna use a Tombow which I still do think is easier, but Crayola markers can be done. And as you can see here, again, we're going to make sure we work in that main feature, those thick downstrokes. But another thing that's gonna be really important here is the angle at which we hold our marker. So let's talk about those things more in depth. First, we have the pressure. We're gonna hold our pen so that the, the biggest point is touching the paper. And we're gonna press down and give more pressure for our downstrokes so we get those nice thick lines. And then we're gonna release the pressure for our upstrokes so that as you can see here, the lines are thinner and we're resting more on the tip of the marker. So to figure out the direction of our marker, we need to look at the slant of our letters because we always want the direction of the tip of our marker to be perpendicular to the slant of our letters. Let's look at these capital print letters that I'm writing now. The slant or the angle at which my letters are turned is straight up and down. So to make the tip of my marker perpendicular to the vertical slant of my letters, I have my hand positioned to the right of the letters with the tip pointing directly at my letters. As horizontally as possible. Let's look at another example. Here, the slant of my letters is slightly forward. Therefore, I have to change the angle of my pen. Now, as you can see, the tip of my marker is pointing more upwards so that it is perpendicular with the slant of the letters. And then once you have the feeling of using the pen and you get a handle on that, then you can practice your letters. And then I wanted to show you guys the difference of using a Crayola and a Tombow. You can get it a little bit more smooth than I did there, but it's harder because I can't hold the paper down while I film. For our third form of affordable calligraphy, we're gonna be using watercolors. If you get the pan, it's gonna be cheaper. We're gonna use watercolor paper, but of course you could use some inexpensive paper to practice because watercolor paper does get pricey. You need a paper towel or an art rag and some water. I also bought these watercolor brushes. You absolutely do want a round paintbrush, but you don't want natural hair. They're just a bit too soft. So I ended up using this number three round brush here at the bottom that's a little bit bigger and the bristles are harder and more dense. You could also use a water brush which hold, holds the water at the top and then you can just squeeze it. I would use this one, but the bristles again are too large. So this, you do this exactly the same way that you do the brush calligraphy with a marker. Of course, you wanna be applying more pressure on the downstroke and then releasing pressure for any other strokes so that the lines are nice and thin. And again, to determine the direction at which we hold our paintbrush, we are going to look at the direction that our letters are turned so as you can see, I have an upward 90 degree slant. The letters are just going up and down. So I'm writing with my paintbrush out to the right, creating a perpendicular line with the slant, which is exactly what we did with our Crayola markers. 
And with watercolors, make sure you're keeping your paintbrush and your pan really, really wet and you should be good to go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you soon. are equipped with some badass superpowers, my friend. You are a gangster. I know it. I know it's true. You are a